Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing one of my personal favorite Breitling models, because it's a combination of color, character, and capability that endears it to my tastes, and possibly to yours. At 42 millimeters, this is the Breitling Super Ocean 42, previously known as the Super Ocean 2, a watch that bowed back at Basel World 2010 and still looks the business on the wrist in 2019. My wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference, and I'll give you a sense of scale, zoom out a little bit. It's a 42 millimeter watch that wears like a 42, which is to say it's true to size and meets expectations. Lug to lug, it's nicely confined at 49.4 millimeters. I find 50 millimeters or fewer ideal for a smaller male wrist, which I define as 14 centimeters to 16 and a half circumference. So this is a good match, and I can recommend it for a 14 centimeter circumference wrist if your wrist is that small. The thickness of the case is perhaps what you would expect. 15.6 millimeters, so it will fit underneath the jacket cuff, but not every shirt sleeve. The timepiece featuring a lug spacing of 20 millimeters will find a universe of OEM and aftermarket options in that near universal strap size. The strap, a Diving Pro 3 strap from Breitling, is very flexible. Though it is a natural vulcanized rubber and not a silicone, it's the higher grade material, it feels soft enough to be silicone. There's a hollow on the underside, and you can see that's mirrored on the opposite side, that allows it to be a bit more flexible by removing material and also creates a little bit of an air pocket on the wrist to let the wrist breathe. Yes, it is branded, a little bit like a Hershey bar, in fact, if you think about it. And then outboard, there is a counterweighted clevis-style pin buckle, which is different from what I expected. This feels like an aviation piece, but then again, old school, pre-George Kern, Breitling was a aviation-themed company. That said, it works well for diving, and it also keeps the watch flush on the wrist as there's a bit of a vaulted bridge over the two prongs of the pin buckle system. The buckle featuring that vaulted bridge that allows the strap to sit flush inside the buckle rather than underneath the buckle so it stays nice and neat and flat on the wrist. It's a handsome piece, all of high polish, and let's be honest, high polish kind of was the Breitling look pre-2017. The case band is simple and strong. In no surprise, high polish. There's not a whole lot of nuance to the design, but you will note that compared to the Super Ocean Heritage series, this is a more traditional modern dive watch with sheer guards for the crown. You'll also appreciate the fact that the simplicity does have a sort of grace to it, as there are a number of compound curves and simple but strong lines that are befitting of a dive watch. Helium escape valve, and I prefer it this way. I happen to love Omega watches, but I prefer the way Rolex and Breitling executes the helium valve. Make them flush, make them discreet. Don't force me to think about whether or not I need to open or close that extra appendage on my watch. It won't get caught on a cuff. It won't mar the lines of the case. Now, the bezel, as you'll see on Zinn timepieces, is actually a captured bezel or a captive bezel. You can see the screws in the flank because the screws themselves, rather than a snap-on mechanism, hold the bezel to the case, meaning you can't accidentally snap it off. You hit it hard against a door frame or an obstruction while diving, it's going to stay put. It takes a bit more time to dismantle it for cleaning of the case, but that's a problem for your watchmaker at Breitling, not for you. The knurling is deep and sharp, and the action is positive and chunky. It feels good, it sounds good, and there's a rubber insert that I found actually wears better over time than anodized aluminum. So if you're not going to get ceramic, go with a vulcanized rubber insert. It also creates a dramatic contrast between the matte black of the rubber and the polish of the actual indices and numerals. Now, if there's one way I could fault this watch, it's only one, really. It's the lack of a luminescent pearl of any kind to use the bezel as a reference in the dark. The dial has remarkable depth and color, as well as tones and textures. There's a dramatic cobra yellow, and yes, that is Breitling's term, Ray Hot outboard, easy to read the seconds, and you can see it features luminescent indices, inboard, applique, Arabic numerals, as well as luminescent tri-indices at 6, 9, and 12. I like the fact that Breitling went with a matte dial to resist glare, um, a fun and jovial color to make this feel like a sports watch and perhaps even a summer watch or a vacation watch. And then, of course, the applique rather than printed dial features giving the watch an upscale feel. 1500 meters water resistant and an incompressible case. When we water test these watches, they don't compress so they can't decompress. And that's generally how a water tester gauges whether a watch is water resistant. Well, you have to use an incompressible case setting for these Breitlings because they are built so tough. The timepiece, as the case back attests, 
is 1500 meters water resistant and a certified Swiss chronometer. Breitling Caliber 17 is an ETA 28242 in COSC chronometer spec, automatic winding, bi-directional, it has very little wobble or rattle because of the bi-directional action, 25 joules, stop seconds, quick set date, beaten away at 4 hertz or 8 beats per second. It's a tank tough tractor movement that is perfectly suited to a tank tough sports watch. You can see this, one of my favorites, and make it one of your favorites on the watch box. Breitling Super Ocean 2 42, glowing like a torch. Note the loomed seconds hand. That should be universal on sports watches.